curveball a lot tonight. What went into the decision-making process to lean on that pitch a little bit more? Uh, just to slow him down a little bit, take him off the fastball. A, a decision made by you and Larry or Austin, just the way he's calling the game? Yeah, it was something we talked about, you know, just kind of breaking it, uh, bringing it in a little bit more into the game just to slow him down, take him off the fastball, and uh, just mix it up a little bit speed-wise. Curve aside, what did you see as the biggest difference last outing against the Red Sox to this one? Um, didn't make as many mistakes, you know, and the ones that I did make, they didn't put over the fence. Um, you know, um, JD hit a pretty good pitch in the first inning. Not a great pitch to him. You know, he hits that pitch pretty well down and in, but uh, I just missed my spot. Um, but uh, other than that, I felt like I threw the ball uh, pretty well, and I uh, thought Romine did a great job behind the plate. Um, you know, great home run by uh, Clay over there to pick me up after that uh, two runs in the first inning to kind of put us back on top. And uh, the boys competed all night. It was a great W. You mentioned Glaber. Does that just inject life to you when you go back out there on the mound now that you have the, the lead? Yeah, big time. You know, that was huge to uh, get those four runs and kind of put us back on top and uh, try to lock it down from there. And the bullpen did a great job coming in and uh, shutting him down and uh, getting us the win. That uh, decision to use the breaking ball more, is that game planning for this that particular lineup or is that more about you trying to get back to something that's worked for you in the past? So. Yeah, I think that's just me in general. You know, I need to have something a little slower so not everything's hard, you know, because the, uh, the cutter slider, whatever you want to call it, is pretty hard as well. Uh, just sort of have that curveball being a little slower just kind of makes his speeds a little bit better and uh, keeps them off balance a little more. All year you've thrown it a bit less than last year. Is it something going forward you want to... More uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I think that we'll definitely try to work that in a bit more to uh, just slow guys down and, like I said, just mix speeds. What's the difference in the feeling if, after walking off down two runs at the bottom of the first to come back on the mound top of the second up two runs? Yeah, it's great. You know, a uh, huge, uh, huge home run by Glaber right there. Uh, kind of injected some uh, energy into our team and uh, just really got us fired up moving forward. It's been a little while since you got through a first inning, putting up a zero. I'm just curious what you make of that special day. You started out with the two strikeouts and then trouble. Like yeah, that. honestly, I don't have an answer for that right now. I, uh, it's just something that's been going on this year. I'm continually uh, trying to figure out that uh, thing that's going on for me, but uh, just I'll just keep on battling. Going into this start, I mean, the opponents have squared up your fastball more than you'd used to. Is that because of the dependence, like the not using enough of the other pitches, or why do you think that might be the case? Uh, possibly. You know, that could be it. They're just kind of always looking hard. Um, I think also uh, just lo locating, I need to locate it better. You know, hit, hit, hit better spots instead of leaving it over the middle of the plate. Yeah, cutter, right? cutter, yeah, yeah, yeah down, cutter down, down and in. Uh, yes, yeah, it just uh, it stayed over the middle of the plate a little bit too much, and uh, you know he's pretty good at hitting that down and in pitch. Obviously, they didn't add any pitchers to the trade deadline. This plate kind of looking into that. What do you think of the? You know, this is the group that you guys will, you know, use and go with going forward. You know, we're we're really confident in this, the guys in this room. You know, and uh, we've also got guys coming back that uh, will be like making trades. You know, we've got Severino that we're hoping to get back towards the end of the season. Um, Dellen uh, as well. You know, uh, Giancarlo. You know, there's a lot of guys that are going to be coming back here and uh, making a big difference. Um, and I think that the guys in this room can get it done. You know, we're a very talented group and uh, very motivated, and I have full confidence in the guys in this room.